Okay, we have here the Toshiba P30 Camel camcorder. Now it's priced at 130 pounds and it's priced to compete with the Kodak ZX1, which I have here, another HD camcorder, and the Flip Mino HD. Now this uh, Toshiba does have its advantages. Um, although it's a little bit bigger than the, the Flip and the Kodak, you can still fit it in your pocket. Uh, but the main thing is it's got a five times optical zoom which makes it easy for you to zoom in and out. Uh, the other cameras I just mentioned lack that. It also has a, a five megapixel digital camera included, which is great if you want to take snaps. And it also has um, quite a large screen, a 2.5 inch uh, screen, which is bigger than that on the Kodak um, and the Flip. So, um, so far so good, but there's a couple of disadvantages worth noting. Uh, first of all, um, I don't know if you can see the base here, but there's nothing in the base that helps you to stand up so if you want to put on a table to record yourself, unfortunately you can't. You can maybe prop it up with something, but it is quite difficult. Okay, another downside of the camcorder is that it doesn't have image stabilisation available at 1080p. So when you're recording at 720p or uh, VGA resolution, it's absolutely fine. But if you want to record at 1080p, your images might suffer from a little bit of camera shake. And that's a bit annoying, quite frankly. Um, you can, of course, put the camcorder on a tripod, but that's not always available. And well, let's face it, having a camper like this and a tripod might look a bit silly. <laughs> so, um, what else? Well, the camcorder actually does have something we really did like um, compared to, say, the, the Kodak uh, or the Flip Mino, which is that um, focusing is really good. Uh, it focuses fast and quite accurately as well. So when you're panning you know, across your scene, or when you're zooming in and out, the camcorder finds its focus pretty quickly. And, you know, that is a, a nice bonus to have. Ease of use in general is okay. I mean, there aren't th that many options to select, although it's quite easy to forget which button you're meant to be pressing. And the buttons, or some of the buttons, are a little bit small as well. So overall, ease of use, well, not, not great really, but you will get used to it over time. Okay, so what's the image quality like? Well, um, it takes uh, 1080p, so in theory, it should be good. And it is pretty good. Um, when watched on a high-definition TV set, you can see the extra detail that the 1080p gives you. Colours are also pretty good, but unfortunately uh, we notice that the pictures tend to be a little bit underexposed, so in other words, a little bit darker than normal, um, and that can be a bit of annoyance, although you can um, use the settings to brighten up your pitch a little bit. We also think that the sound quality produced from this camcorder is really good. I mean, I was very surprised when I tested it. Um, okay, you're not going to expect um, hi-fi quality sound, but compared to the, the Kodak, it is a step up, and that's, that's something that uh, we should applaud Toshiba for. You know, to get good sound from a camcorder as small as this is quite impressive. Overall then, we quite like this camcorder. It takes reasonably good uh, looking video, it takes good sound, and it's okay to use. I mean, there are a couple of uh, ease of use niggles, but overall, you know, we quite liked it. £130, I think you can't really go far wrong. So for this review and many others, go to witch.co.uk.